Hello everyone, welcome back to another video from sysadmin102. In today's video, I will show you how to deploy the SSL certificates to uh, Proxmox on uh, OffSense with ACME client. So this tutorial assumes that you already install and set up ACME plugin on your OffSense. If you have not, um, you can follow uh, this tutorial to uh, create the wildcard certificates on AppSense with the ACME client. The link gonna be included in the descriptions. Like always, if you think the video is helpful, uh, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe for more video like this. Uh, and let's get started. For step one of this video, we're gonna create an API user in Frogmox. You can use the root user, however, doing so you give it the a lot more permission than it need. We only need the user with limited permission just for the purpose of uploading the certificate to uh, Proxmox. So when I head over to uh, Proxmox and then from here you would navigate to um, permission and users and from here we're going to select add to add a new user uh, and the user is going to be ACME and hyphen API and we're going to select uh, Proxmo VE authentication server for this one. And you would create a password for it. All right. And once you've done that, we're going to select add to add the new user. And next, we're going to create a new role for ACME API only. And we're going to assign the modified permission to it. So I'm going to go to a PVE and then select uh, shell. All right, and then from here, we're going to use the command uh, PVE UM and then roll. And then we're going to add ACME API hyphen only. And then hyphen hyphen is going to be a PRIVS uh, prips. And then we're going to assign a permission as sys dot modify. And then we select enter. All right, we can go ahead and close out the um, shell. All right, next step, we're gonna assign the new role we just created to the uh, ACME hyphen API user that we just created. So we are nav navigated back to data center and then permissions. And we're gonna select add the new one and then select the user permissions. And from here, we're going to select the NOS PVE. And then for the user, it's going to be uh, ACME hyphen API at PVE. And for the row, we're going to select the one we just created, ACME API only. That only give it the sys.modify uh, privilege. And we're going to select at. All right, when we've done that, we're going to go down to API token to create a new one and assign it to that user. So we're going to select add and then from the user, we're going to select uh, ACME hyphen API at PVE. And from here, the token, we're going to call it uh, ACME hyphen token. And before you select add, make sure that you uncheck the privilege separations. They're going to give the AC ACME token the same permission like uh, the user that it assigned to. So we're gonna select add. You should record the API token secret because it's only display uh, now. The minute you close it out, you're not gonna be able to see it. You might have to create a new one. Uh, so we can just select copy a value. And then we're gonna head over to um, options to create a new automation for Proxmo certificate deployment. So we need to go down to uh, services and uh, select ACME client and select automations and automations. And we're going to select add the new one. And for the name, I would like to call it uh, Proxmo certificate deployment. And for the descriptions, I'm going to call it the uh, automate certificate deployment to Proxmo. The description is optional. No, you don't have to include it in there. And for the run command, we're going to select upload certificate to Proxmo VE. And from here, for the VE user, it's going to be uh, ACME hyphen API. 
and then the server this is going to be the fully qualified domain name or fqdn of your proxmox so for my proxmox it's going to be um, pev.sysadmin102.org all right and that's going to be under um, a006 so the default and then ve not name pve and then for the authentication we're going to change this from uh, pam to uh, PVE as well and the token is ACME hyphen token and then for the VE token key we can copy it from the Proxmo alright and once you've done that we're gonna save it and next we're gonna go um, to a certificate to add the automations in there and we're gonna select the edit certificate so if you currently have multiple automations we're gonna go ahead and temporarily remove it and we're gonna add in the proxmo certificate deployment so after we test it and it's working we're gonna add everything back on so the next time when acme renew the client it's gonna execute all that automations so we save it and then we're gonna select uh, run automations and we can select yes and let's go back to uh, Proxmox. I'm going to close it out. And go back to uh, PVE. So under certificate, notice that it actually successfully pushing the wildcard certificate for sysadmin102.org over. Uh, all you just have to do is refresh Proxmox, and it's going to use the new certificate. And now you uh, notice that you don't have the explanation mark anymore because this is a, a let encrypt certificate. And we're going to go back to uh, certificate and we're going to edit certificate. And then we're going to re add in uh, all the automation that we uh, intended to use. And then we save it. All right. And that concluded uh, today's video. If you think the video is helpful, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.